Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to this edition of Scientifix, our weekly curation of important science stories from across the globe. The world's oceans were the warmest on record in 2019, according to a study which shows that long-term global warming trends continue unabated. The study shows that the past 10 years have been the warmest on record for global ocean temperatures. Yet, the difference in the temperatures between 2018 and 2019 was the largest single-year increase since the early 2000s. Overall, the year 2019 was the second hottest on record. Moving on from the climate to the news from outer space, scientists have discovered the oldest solid material on Earth by isolating stardust from meteorite that fell in Australia 50 years ago. The analysis of the meteorite shows that it contains cosmic particles that formed between 5 to 7 billion years ago, long before the birth of the solar system. The team from the University of Chicago found that this material had a pungent characteristic, smelling like rotten peanut butter. Understanding these materials helps shed light on how stars and galaxies first formed. Meanwhile, Asia is on high alert after two individuals in China were reported to have died from a newly identified pneumonia-like viral infection. Chinese scientists identified the illness as a new strain of coronavirus which belongs to the same family as the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS and the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome or MERS. These infections have affected over 8,000 people and killed over 700 in a pandemic across Asia in 2002 and 2003. However, authorities say that the new coronavirus is not as lethal. While the Chinese grapple with this mystery infection, the ongoing unrest in Hong Kong is taking a toll on the mental health of more than 2 million people. According to a Lancet study, the effects of this unrest on the mental health is comparable to symptoms observed from large-scale disasters, armed conflicts and terrorist attacks. The researchers from the University of Hong Kong found that many adults have increasingly shown symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD over the past years. While just 5% of adults in Hong Kong reported PTSD symptoms in March 2015 survey, the number rose to 32% from September to November last year at the height of the unrest. Such figures suggest that at least 1.9 million Hong Kong adults aged over 18 and above are showing symptoms of PTSD. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.